Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to wire uh, the solar edge inverter. Um, I have two of them side by side. Um, this one on the right, this one on the left. And we're going to wire the cable uh, for the 485 communication cable. And um, I have prepared um, the cables here. Once we're done, these two inverters, the left and the right, will communicate using this cable that is this blue cable here. Um, kind of like um, a pairing cable, you know, so it just goes from one to the other. And through the uh, 485 protocol, uh, it's going to communicate uh, with each other and the right hand side the right inverter, I'm going to set it as master, and the left one, I'm going to set it as slave. So, um, like I said, I have prepared the cable, and this is just a regular Cat5 cable, which is used for computer networking. Uh, what I've done is, typically there is uh, four pairs, which is basically uh, eight cables, um, or eight wires inside the cable and since we are only going to be using uh, three out of the eight what I've done is I have just cut them off uh, if you look pretty closely you can see that uh, there's the brown cable um, etc that I actually cut off so the connection that is required for the uh, RS485 uh, is here um, I'm going to get the I've removed the the modular plug here but I am going to get it to show you okay so this is the uh, modular plug that I removed from here so this you can just push this up and it will attach like that it's easier uh, when we're in installing this for us to remove this so that we can wire it outside so we don't have to struggle because the 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 screw to to screw in the uh the cables is actually behind it so in order for you to screw in those cables it's actually impossible for you to do it while it's attached so you have to take it off and we are going to uh, put in the cables on the left side BAG. So there's two ports here, left side and right side. So the left side is what they also call the first port and that's the one that we are going to use on both inverters is gonna be using the left side. So for the B, um, which usually stands for blue, I am going to use the blue cable um, for some reason on this RJ45 cable, I mean Cat5 cable, it's looking like a purple, but that is what I'm going to use for B. And then for the A, I'm going to use the orange, and then the G is the green. So I'm going to strip just a little bit, like a quarter of an inch of the wire here to expose the copper. And I am going to use a small screwdriver um, I would put the cable in there and screw it in and make sure it's attached. I do it uh, for this particular inverter for the slave and I'll also do it for uh, the master. Before I start, uh, what I would like to point out just make sure you turn off your inverter. And uh, this one is already off, but uh, just make sure that you turn it off so that um, it prevents any uh, mishap or uh, accidental shortage, etc., etc. I have the uh, wire um, already uh, connected. And right now we are going to go to the slave inverter and we are going to set the uh, communication so that this will be uh, set as the slave. So we go to the menu Enter the password, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And then you go to communication, press okay. 
go down to RS485-1 configuration press OK and for the protocol well for the device type SE stands for solar edge if it doesn't say SE press OK go into that and make sure you select solar edge mine is already selected to solar edge and then for the protocol S stands for slave to make sure you press OK to go into it and press OK again to select slave leave the device ID at number one okay so that's it that's all you need to do for this side and let's go do the same thing to the uh, master okay so we're here at the master do the same thing get to the menu enter the password one two three one two three one two go to communication go to rs485 one a dash one configuration right now it's set to s we need to change that so the first uh, option device type is se stands for solar edge that's correct the second one protocol we need to press ok and change this to master and let it go through okay and then the night right now is going to try to do a slave detect are you sure yes detecting slave and let's see if it can detect it right now communication and there you go uh, one slave detected and we have succeeded so um, right now these two inverters uh, is, is linked together and um, they'll be able to communicate as master and slave. Thank you.